And we're back for some decked out. But before before we get into the decked out, this man's lack of warped wood kind of atrocious. There's 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 not much. But these bits might be enough. If not, we'll have to take a trip to the shopping district. So far in this area, I have just been working based on whatever I can scrounge from around here. I definitely have things that I still want to add. There we go. Yeah, I like how this looks a lot better. I am liking our little room here. All right, but this is great and all. But none of us are here for my mad decoration skills. No, we're here for running a stupid cool dungeon. If you're not super familiar with Decked Out and how it works, I recommend popping down to the description. There are two videos there that talk about Decked Out and how it works. The first one is from the great Tango Tech himself um, and was released right before the Hermit started playing. And the other one is a video that I made for anybody who wants to stay on the channel and know how Decked Out works before watching the Decked Out videos. Also, it is a progression-based game, and this is episode two, so if you haven't watched episode one yet, I do recommend that you go back and watch that first. I'll put a little card right up there in the corner. Make sure I got my sounds on, and we input our frozen shard. I forgot my frozen assets. Oh my goodness. That's going to close up and we will have to pick of shame our way through. I can't believe. I can't believe I forgot my frozen assets. That's kind of majorly important. Okay. So last time around, we did eight easy runs, which you only saw two of, and then we did eight medium runs. And so today we're going to at least start on medium because, well, yeah, our, our deck is not ready for hard and I haven't even gotten out of level two on medium difficulty. So off we go. Okay, the heartbeat is kind of high. That's not great. I didn't even look. It's a level one, okay. Even with a high heartbeat like this. Uh, no. Come on, good sir. Come on. You gotta juke him. We cannot have him here in the entrance. That is literally... Sneak. Literally the worst possible place for him. I don't care if I have to sacrifice myself. This one time. Come on. Come on, bud. Keep coming. Jeez. Okay. All right. It is across the way. I heard that frost ember. Where was that? I betcha it's up in the crypt anyways, so we'll just go back through this way at this point. <laughs> There's a key. Alright, first berry. Finally. That Ravager's still not in a great place, but maybe he'll just automatically... Treasure? Treasure? Maybe he'll automatically wander back into the circle room. I don't know. They tend to pathfind up, though. More treasure, yay! Oh! There's this guy. Sneak. Is he still on me? 
Okay. What do you want to bet? It's right in here. Yeah, there's a spot right around here. There it is. Ooh, it's the Pearl of Cleansing! Alright. This Ravager's gonna be a problem, probably. Not. Sounds like... My clank block got eaten there. But that's exactly what we use clank block for. Oh, good lord. Why is... How did he end up there? Alright. Oh. Now we do get treasure drops around. Ah, it's just another key. Oh, 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 oh. Ember. Yay. Treasure hunter. Ah. All right. Now, I don't know how this area looks. I'm gonna go. Check this spot. And more treasure. Yay! Okay, but he's gonna be able to see me as I come down the stairs. So we gotta be ready to just go for it. Oh no. This spot's blocked off. <laughs> That's not good. Is that? No, that's down. Ew. I'm gonna end up with him on my tail. Sneak. Oh, gosh dang it. Lord. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh crap, oh no. Uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, I should be able to jump myself up here and grab these. Yep. <laughs> You guys want to see where I died the first time? Because, uh, we might not be getting out of here alive. Oh, there come the- oh! There come the stumbles. Yeah, so this is powdered snow, and I tried walking through it, and I didn't have full health, and I did not make it to the end. If there is an end. But it goes a long way, like, it's gotta be something, because... Yeah. I'd like to get out. This is a new artifact. All right, with that, I should be able to take another hit. But I gotta, I gotta get out of here carefully. Here we go. Our stumbles are, oh, good Lord. I don't know where the Ravager is. Because this is a... This is a different zone than the Stability. TNT room. Okay. This guy here... We need to, like... Be able to juke him around the pillar. Or if he moves that way. Ah! Nope. What? Stability. Good lord. Oh my goodness. Wait. Guys. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, we did it. We did it. We made it out. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, 
What even was that run? Oh my goodness. Oh goodness, I'm shaking. Our stumbles were really starting to stack up there too. But this is 16. So with 16, we could get the cheapest uncommon card. All right, well, let's see what comes up. And we can't forget our artifact. Oh, that's a 20. Ah! <laughs> no! So close yet so far. Ah, oh, dang it. All right, well. We haven't been looking closely at the cards, so let's see. This one's a 50, or 62 Frost Ember 1. Each staircase you unlock, block 4 Clank. You cannot gain run speed if you have an artifact. Pirate's Booty. Two random ethereal cards released on the pirate ship. Ooh, that's kind of cool. And then we have Frost Focus, plus 4 Frost Ember Drops. Loot and Scoot, plus 7, plus run speed. Loot and Scoot is a fantastic card, and I do want it soonish. Um... You know what we're going to do? We're going to do a treasure hunter and a sneak. And I think that will be the last sneak for me. Nice. Okay. Put our coins in. And in we drop. Alrighty, times three. <laughs> hey, bud. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. And the pick of shame is inside. Oh, my goodness. All right. And there are all our things. So many treasures. And we grab the pick of shame and we're going to put that back on the wall. I will remember to set my spawn next time. But for now, we reset the spaghetti. Alrighty, we have a new artifact, the Pearl of Cleansing. Let's let's look at the text here. Infused with strange alien powers, this pearl can keep anything clean. Excellent. And then we add our treasure under cards and our sneak cards. And when you look at the cards, we have the number five in the upper right hand corner, which means that's the maximum number of these cards that we can have in our deck. So sneak is at maximum. We've got a pretty decent looking deck at this point. The dungeon is ready for its next victim. Okay, now we make sure our spawn is set. We eat our golden carrot. And then, alrighty, oh, level two. All right, is this the one? Not with the Ravagers and the situation in which they are. Oh, jeez. Stability. Right there. Okay, you come with me this way, buddy. Come on. Keep coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now we do our, oh, good golly. Right there. These are just delightful Ravager placements. We're going back this way then. Sneak. Uh, you can see me, but there's our key, so we're just gonna. Head on down, I guess. Where was that treasure? There it is. Another coin, yay! And if we get our treasure drops onto level two quickly enough, 
actually, hopefully this door is good. Okay, good. Cool. Let's get some of those Ember Seekers downstairs. And we already have a crown's worth of coins. All right, we're going down this side today, apparently. Not enough berries to really do this, but... Stability. It is... directly that way. You know, where the Ravager is. Uh, yeah, this area is not fun. Look at all that soul sand around the lava. Okay, so it's kind of directly over there. Oh, we have another Ravager there. Crap. Alright, I am just really Sick. nervous about all this lava situation. It's not good. I have to be really good and really fast. Is that a third Ravager? Oh my goodness. Are there really three in this area? Okay, he's coming this way, so we gotta go if we're gonna go. Oh no, he's coming still. Oh dear. Look at him. His smug little face. Let's see if he turns turns around and goes away. Oh, interesting. It's still over this way. Oh, there's another Ravager. It's going to be that spot right where he is, where our first, our first spot was. Oh dear. What if, can we get him to trigger on us from like over here? There's, there's too much in the way. Because then we could drop down in the middle there. Sneak. There's, ah, I saw him too. Oh dear. Oh, we got got it. Oh man. First willy death. That's the way it goes. We continue snooping through Tango's things um, because I want some flowers of some nature. The dungeon is ready for hey, its yo. next victim. Perfect timing. I think I'm pretty close to done with decorating. Oh, I did want to put like a brewing stand in here. I think that would be great for, you know, the whole witchy theme we've got going on. And I do want some mini blocks somewhere. Alrighty. We eat our carrot. We make sure our spawn is set. And off we go on medium difficulty once again. Level one, easy peasy. You know, if if the if the ravagers aren't in too bad a shape. Okay, he's over there. Stability. We head up here. Where do we think the ravager up here is today? He is back there. Exactly where we need to go. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first do a little treasure looting. Ayo! Sneak. And then we'll go ahead and juke him around. When we're ready. Grab some more berries, finally. Okay. Oh no. Okay. There he is. Come on, bud. Come on. Come on. Here you go. Oh, the thunder, the shriekers, 
the intensity. Oh, 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 it's the one back here. Gotcha, gotcha. Another Tome of the Hills. Oh, that's intense with the with the thunderstorm. Let's zoop our way this way. Ah! Triggering all the shriekers today. No treasure whatsoever. Gosh dang it. Oh the the toots I'm hearing are from the other Shit. side. Oh, I stood up for a second. But not the, not the other side, the, the little ice passageway. I'm gonna do a little bit of greeting, cause like, this was real quick. I'm not... Are these two areas connected now? Is that what's happening? Because there are usually two Ravagers in this area, and there's been one, and then he just kind of disappeared when he chased me. There's an ember. I don't see a Ravager. Alrighty. Well. Interesting. I'm gonna grab a berry. And we'll take this passageway up for interest and greed. Never mind. <laughs> that was one big ravager butt in the face. Anybody there? Interesting. Ah, for goodness sake. Gonna peek my face right in there. Oh no, he's right there. Never mind. Backing away slowly. And we're gonna peek right here. Lots of treasure somewhere. But to make sure we get out, okay. I'm just gonna take the bridge. Uh, we still gotta deal with the Ravager who's in the entryway. Maybe we take a second to like juke him around. he actually ended up. Of course. Alright. I'm gonna take that. Hey bud, come on. Alrighty. Sneak. And then we take her way out. Only 15 embers, so we can't actually buy anything in the uncommon section, but it's fine. Oh my goodness, don't need the artifact. I've gotten this artifact so many times. Let's take a look at the cards as they come up. So we have Silent Runner. Every 15 seconds that run speed is active, there's a 50% chance to block a plank. That's fun, especially if you have one of the like speedy decks. Second wind, 15 seconds of regen and run speed, which is a vital card. And then sprint, 
60 seconds of run speed. Oh, one more. Hey, we got four on this one. Eyes on the prize. Extra card available for purchase in the Frost Timber Shop, which everybody knows is a trash card. Yeah. Kind of. I could definitely see, like, as, as I was getting into the higher numbers, wanting that one. Nobody ever got it, added it to a deck, to my knowledge. So, so we have all of our sneaks, which means we could get stability and, like, moment of clarity. We could get treasure hunter and moment of clarity. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do treasure hunter and moment of clarity because then that's going to max out our treasure hunters, which gives us a lot more chances at keys whenever we need to go to level two. And then moment of clarity is just nice and helpful. I did not get a single piece of treasure. Interesting. All right, down we go. I'm going to get... <laughs> I got gutted. So now we're also maxed on Treasure Hunter. And we have a nice moment of clarity for our next run. So moment of clarity is a one-use card. It gets used up after you use it in a run. Um, only if it actually gets pulled and drawn and used before you finish the run or die. But it gives us some extra blockage of the negative things um, and some extra treasure and embers, uh, embers as well, which is really nice. Today's looking a lot better already than last time. Um, we still won all of our, almost all of our level ones last time. So we'll see. We'll see what, what happens. Alrighty. I have an exciting piece of news for us. I have loaded the map area. So now we can use the dungeon map to tell us what's going on in the realm of our cards. Oh, oh we got some noises. There it is. So you'll notice when we walk up to the dungeon, we get a map dropped out for us. And this map is still broken as heck. What? what? It should be chunk loaded. Um, well, all right. It might just be that the account is in the wrong spot. Um, but basically this map is an interactive, um, or a real-time, like, view of things like our cards and the sneak that we have, stuff like that. So, ah, of course. So it looks like it's not actually going to work for us this time around. Um, I'll go adjust the position of the player that is chunk loading it. Is there a coin there? There's not a coin there. Okay. He is back in that corner. And the other guy's up there somewhere. It's just a level one artifact. So, oh, did you see, did you see how, yeah, it's just that he's in the wrong spot. Um, it's my partner's account. He's in the wrong spot, and so it's not chunk loading the whole thing. I will move that after this run, but did you see how the frost embers slot got two little squares in it, and then it counted down, and we heard frost embers. Where we heard them, I don't know. Oh! No, the bat! It might be upstairs. Yeah, I guess. That definitely looks like upstairs. Still back in the crypt. Yeah, okay. Easy peasy. Ah, just a key. We don't need a key today. Our moment of clarity is in the deck, and I'm trying to decide if we should, you know, go for, like, getting out of here as fast as possible. I think it's this spot. Yep, that's the one. Um, ooh, what's your apron? Which is 20 frost embers. I'm trying to decide if we should, you know, get out of here just as fast as possible, or, and see if we can get that moment of clarity back. 
or if we should do some greeting. Man, how- Ooh, there's a crown, yes! I'm gonna go ahead and go peek my head into the table room, I think. No! Oh, they're always on the stairs there. Well, there's some coins and things. Oh, good lord, okay. All the stair ones are up and running. Okay. When that heartbeat goes up, which is what the shriekers are affecting, when the heartbeat goes up, we get vex when it is getting, like maxed out. The stumbles also add to that. 20 frost embers and two crowns for a medium uh, level one run is great. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know, dip. And I think we didn't actually play our moment of clarity, I think. There they are. Oh, and they bounced right in my hand. We gotta get our artifact, of course. And, if any of these four pop up, we can get them. Fingers crossed. <gasps> yeah, that's a loot and scoot. Excellent. Well, obviously, we got to get the loot and scoot. Okay, deep frost is six embers for each stair that is already unlocked when the card is played. Speedrunner, eight eight frost embers dropped at the beginning of level three when you enter the dungeon. And then swagger plus ten. Treasure plus 10 frost ember. Shuffle two stumble guards into your deck. That's a good one. All right, but obviously. Obviously. Loot and scoot time. And then we go crowns and coins. Let's make sure it goes. Excellent. And. Ah, oh, good, good gracious. I got very turned around there. Loot and scoot, let's go. All right. The butcher's apron is a bloody apron for the venerable gentleman. We pop that up on the wall. We pop our two crowns in. I feel like we should get something from the crown shop. And our moment of clarity is still there and we can put our loot and scoot in, which means our next run, like it's even more likely that we'll have a uh, level two run, you know? And so having that moment of clarity will be even more important. Now, something I haven't looked at is the, the waiting room built by all the hermits where many shenanigans took place. Oh, this is amazing. It features the queue, which is delightful. All right, we got our compass, got our map. It's a level one again. Okay, it's just broken. Though that looks approximately the right as far as number of cards goes. We just got a couple of weird spots with the treasure and hazard there. All right, let's watch it. Uh-huh. So a couple of them are backwards. I wonder if there's anything in Tango's maintenance book on how to deal with that. Okay. So Ravager should still be over there. This is pointing us straight back. Okay, it is pretty, like, straight center back. Which is interesting. I wonder if it's in the table room, not the not the crypt. Where was that? That ravager is still up there, so we're gonna avoid that area as much as possible. Oh, 
And there goes some hazard. Where did that Ravager end up? It might, this might be back in the, the Great Hall. I think he was over there, right? Oh! Good lord. Oh, jeez. We're gonna have to juke him. Majorly. There he is. Come on, my guy. Come with me. Come on. One buddy, all the way in here. There we go. Stability. Okay, right here. It's a pearl. Oh no. Stability. Let's peek for treasure. Not worth it. Let's bring him in here. Cause we gotta get out this way. We'll check this for treasure. Just a single piece. Well, our embers are loading up. Let's wait and listen. Aha! Worth it. Sneak up here. See if I can poke my head in for some treasure. Nope. Ah, that side is just entirely guarded by ravagers right now. All right, we're sneaking up the stairs because... Uh, well, that just ate up our sneak. No, it's not worth it because this is down. Taking the River of Souls safely ah, is more important. Let's see if any more pop up. Wait to deploy. <gasps> Yay! It was worth the wait. <laughs> How? Why? Okay, he's right there. He's gonna see me. Yep, he is. There he is. Alright. Well, we got a crown and four extra embers, so that wasn't terrible. I, st I think we still didn't get a moment of clarity, too. Let's see if we can toss this in before the next card plays. There we go. Eighteen cards, there's still a decent ch or eighteen embers, there's still a okay chance of getting getting another uncommon. There they go. Eighteen embers. Alright. Ah, another loot and scoot. Adrenaline rash. Plus one hazard every 20 seconds, every heartbeat grant, er, for 20 seconds, every heartbeat grants treasure. <gasps> oh, there we go! Tread lightly. Which is 18 frost embers. Blocks four hazard. Awesome sauce. Ooh, and this one is a fantastic one. 
Reckless Charge. If you trigger a Shrieker within eight, eight seconds of the card playing, you get plus 10 Ember Drops. It's a great, great card. Alrighty. And... Okay. He's gonna... It's fun now that we're kind of starting to put a deck together. Like, a bit more of a deck. I really love this. And we still have our moment of clarity. Excellent. All right, we're going to put a cauldron there. And then we'll put a couple of brewing stands up. Maybe one there. All right, same old, same old. I can't believe that this is our third round with the same moment of clarity in the deck. That's <laughs> impressive. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Ah, the berry bush has blessed us. Okay, that was a frost ember. Which I'm... Gonna have to forego. He's right there. I'm not gonna risk it. But there's a key and a frost ember and then my berries. Can we? Stability. Ha 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 ha. It's a couple of frost embers. All right, then. Okay, well, we're just gonna go straight back. Ooh, coin. Don't mind if I do. More embers and another key. Oh, good lord, okay. I'm gonna rip through the clank block now. It's actually every other um, shrieker that you trigger causes clank. He's right there. Delightful. Yep, okay. We did it! Haha! <laughs> um... Yeah, it's on that side. I'm gonna go ahead and go over to that side because it's easier to deal with than the lava. Though, yeah, the water's down already. It is straight back. Last time we were down here, that was where the Ravager was. Okay, he should be... Sneak. He should be... Unable to get to me. Okay. That hazard's up. Delightful. Good to know. We're not going back that way. There was a Ravager down in this area, somewhere. Oh, it's not this spot. Trying to spot this guy. Because he has to be somewhere, you know? Oh. I didn't know that was a spot. Where did the goat, huh? 
Well, we have the sneak to absorb that, which is the good news. Ooh. You know what? We're gonna grab, there is no treasure there. We're gonna see if we can't use this, oh, dang it, we lost it. Because there is a trick you can do with loot and scoot. Um, that basically you can jump, jump from one of the mushrooms up over the hazard over there. Okay, I keep hearing dings. Where are they coming from? And most importantly, where the heck is the Ravager? Well, there's a guy there. The question is, is he on this side of the wall? Or is he down below? He's down below, okay. I don't know where that dude went. Okay, so there's a guy right there. That's good to know. And we can't know if that hazard is up or not. Like, we just simply don't know. We do still have some hazard block, though. Treasure hunter. I would like to get out of this, this hall. Oh dear, there's that guy. Well, we're going this way. Okay. These are not going yet, which is nice. Moment of clarity. I am the heckin' worst at parkour, so I'm really glad that was not running. And now we're going to hug this wall. And make a run for it. We made it through the lava parkour. Okay, 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 okay. Now, the question is, we still have a decent number of cards. What side? He's right there. All right, you come right up there, buddy. We'll let him diagro, and then we'll go out the other side. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, this way is open. Oh, crap. This way is open. Awesome. I'm gonna eat a little bit of berries just for myself, and I'm gonna leave these for the next run. All of those hazards are up. He's right there. That's unfortunate. And he's right there. All right, we are gonna bring this dude up here. And then we sneak around. question is, are either of these doors open? They are. Delightful. Okay. Out we go, guys! Guys! And there goes the last bits of our clink block. Excellent! We did it! That's our first... That's our first level two win. Okay. Only an 18... 18 ember artifact, but... 
the most embers we've brought out of the dungeon so far, which is really cool. Nice. All right, let's see what comes up. We're gonna get our artifact too. <gasps> yes, another uncommon. Two uncommons, let's go. Okay, so one is tread lightly, one is evasion, which is a block plank one. We're gonna go with evasion, I think, because, I mean, hazard was starting to kick our butt there. So we got reckless charge up and we got quick step, which is block two clank. 15 seconds of run speed. Next non-ethereal card played is returned to the deck. All right. So if we do 16 for evasion, we can grab another moment of clarity as well. Nice. And we got a crown. I didn't get the button anyways. Alrighty. Well, items are rolling in. And there we go. We have defeated level two. <laughs> defeated is a strong word. If we go ahead and dump our evasion in there, we've got three uncommon cards. And we're maxed out on a couple of our other cards as well, which is really cool. And we'll put our moment of clarity in. Got another crown. Got another artifact to hang up on the wall. We've got quite a collection coming along here. We can't forget to record the, the end of our day, um, which is another victory. Level two, let's go. Yeah, so four victories in one death. I'm feeling pretty good about how I've been doing in Decked Out, but I'm gonna leave it here so that this episode is a little shorter and easier to watch than the last one, cause uh, that was a little long. Um. But let me know if you are just watching Decked Out because, like, I'm doing it. Or if you were a Decked Out watcher in Hermitcraft. Um, yeah. I'm curious to see what everybody thinks of the series. So do let me know down below. I'm having so much fun with this, though. And just so you guys know, this is a mini series. It's not going to be something super long term. But I'm going to run until I feel really happy with where I get the through all the levels. Ready for its next victim. But we won't be heading in to be victimized by the dungeon again today. We will save that for another time. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!